Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and like. Now, in this video, we're going to look how to create pattern. Now, in the, combo, the normal pattern, we want to pattern this cut. This is the dimension of the cut. So in a normal pattern, linear pattern, go to linear pattern, the direction, select this edge. Spacing and ref spacing and instances. Spacing is given to seven to five. You just to pass now. This you can increase the count. Now, if we edit this, we increase the length. So, see, notice that this gap is not filled. Or better still, if you reduce it, Notice it does. It doesn't go along. You see. Now I want to make it. So that when I increase the length or decrease the length, the pattern remains basically the same. So to so do that. to direction here. So do that I go to linear pattern direction one choose this edge instead of spacing and instances I use up to reference my first reference point this edge and next reverse offset that means the distance the maximum distance between the pattern and this edge for that I give it 50 centroid and the spacing for spacing I give it 65 direction 2 you know, this sketch is located at the center direction 2 let me choose this that's my direction to up to reference. Up to reference. I choose this place as my this edge as my reference point. Offset distance. I will take fifty as my offset distance spacing I give it 65 also so features and faces I 
as you can see it's, it's always at 50 millimeter from this end to this edge same thing applies here respective of the lens so if i increase this length by 600 millimeter it's always like this or if i reduce it see 700. so it's not distorted the pattern all, all decreases or increases respect respect in respect of with respect to the length so another method of patterning linear pattern like this is by using sketch driven pattern for that I create my slots Go to tools. Select the sketch. Tools. Sketch tool. segment six segments so I can place the center of this slot here so it's fully defined then make a strip cut through um, So we draw our sketch. Now to pattern this to pattern this item, try right, to maintain a constant number of pattern. We go to sketch driven pattern. Features and faces to pattern. Choose this. So now, if you increase, we have one, two, three, four, five, six pattern. Now, if you increase the length, right, seven hundred. We always have six. Reduce it. By one thousand, we always have six patterns. 